All right, guys, welcome back. This is week seven of weekly coaching. Uh, last week, we were focusing on Legion Commander, so we'll see if this week we have some improvements on that. Um, don't forget, I stream every weekday on Twitch at Mr. Up TV. And don't forget, like and subscribe. It's very helpful. And enjoy the video. All righty. What's up, man? So, what up, what up, what up? What is the MMR for this week? We are at 1340. Ooh. That's quite a jump, actually. Yeah. Nice. That's awesome. Okay. What were the things we noticed from the uh, the last week? Um. So I think in general, I've been kind of playing um, heroes similar to Legion, if not Legion. Mm -hmm. So you'll see, if you look at my previous matches, I played a couple Night Stalker games and a uh, Magnus game. Okay. And I'm feeling pretty good with these types of heroes right now. Um, oh yeah, there's five games, right? Legion, Night Stalker, Night Stalker, Magnus, Legion. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, it kind of like working on that same thing what we were talking about of like creating space or, or creating pressure on the map to make people respond and being able to like jump on them. Um, I think I like at one point in the i after i have two losses there's a game where i have a win and that game i think i played against a pudge and i was like you know i, I think i had like blade mail blink at that point and i was like ah, i don't know like you know it's a pudge and am i going to be able to like get him you know in a in a dual duration or whatever and i was like you know what fuck it we talked about it before i'll go for it and i got it and okay after that, it's like, you know, okay, if I can kill him, I can kill anybody. <laughs> I can kill anybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the whole world is my oyster. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, okay, cool. Just, and I think even just taking that risk, and even if it was just short, it'd be like, okay, well, maybe I wait, or maybe I hit him with a um, Q beforehand, and then he falls. Right. Okay. So sometimes, I don't know. Yeah, sometimes it's worth just do, kind of going for it to know because I think before I wouldn't go for it unless it was guaranteed. And sometimes right. you just got to like, find your limits. Okay. That's awesome. And um, that, that paid off. You were fucking 12 and 0 this game. So that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. It was a good game for me. Okay. Um, Anything else? Any issues you ran into? Was it all I, I, it always kind of sucks because like like the last game i have that that was a loss like that just felt like a game where it was like i was gonna lose okay um so um sometimes still it's difficult i would say to like get people on board mm -hmm. to what i'm doing um so it's it's easier for me to try to play as independently as possible like try and like maximize what i get out of the lane hit my item timings as early as possible and that way it's kind of like i have more control over um my own game plan sure okay um so situations where i'm outside of that still feel pretty uncomfortable um, right like you just can't you can't get anybody to coordinate with you it's Basically. hard to it feels it feels really hard to be like hey like just stick by me you know what i mean like we can do this or we can get this kill um sometimes it'll be like i will get somebody on board but it's like they jump out before i jump out and it's like okay well you showed now i can't like <laughs> now, now they're running away you know yeah well i mean i, I wouldn't maybe it's not worth worrying about because that goes for literally any Dota match. Yeah, like if your team's sure. not coordinating or they don't speak the same language or there's a yeah. huge MMR delta or something, like it's just gonna be weird. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a little like with these types of heroes, somewhat. Not all of them, because I feel like Magnus is a little bit different. I kind of am interested to, to explore more Magnus games yeah. because he can shift positioning of enemies, mm. which then makes it a lot more obvious for your team. Like if you fucking jump in alt and push somebody you know towards your team yeah it doesn't take a genius to fucking jump on that person right um, right right well i'd also say magnus is similar to sand king and yeah like he's just got true. really big like team fight potential 
Yeah. And and also has great AoE wave clear. So he should be able yeah. to farm and he should be able to win team fights. Yeah. That's a good point. So yeah, I, I, would, I was really enjoying playing him. That's good. Yeah, I would think that could actually be another hero you could get good at. It's like these other like non CC heroes that are uh the kind of the question mark, right? How about the Night Stalker right. games? Were those So those were good. Um the interesting thing about Night Stalker was um, I, we, I kind of sort of like satisfied um, the old homework with him. Okay. Um, because I, there was a situation, I'm trying to remember which one it was, but it was, um, I ended up like trying to figure out uh, what item would like best help me in the situation because I think I was like really behind or something like that. Or maybe it was like, uh, they had like a bunch of like upfront burst and i figured out that i could take his um shard early oh okay which um you gain back a bunch of health and mana right so i did that and not only did it help with that but i didn't realize like it's kind of like you know uh midas or like um devour yeah yeah and you you know it's an easy way to just get gold too so okay. it ended up helping me because I was behind. It ended up helping me catch back up. Okay. All right. Cool. Um, but yeah, I, I enjoy Night Stalker. It's a little, the only thing with Night Stalker is it's very like tempo kind of driven. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. you know, with like the night and stuff and it can, like, if you get behind on Night Stalker, it can feel really fucking bad. Probably even worse than Legion because at least with Legion, if somebody is popping off in your game, you just jump on somebody duel, and then as they scale, you're gonna scale. Yeah, yeah. For that reason, I would tend to like. I mean, if you enjoy Night Stalker, it's fine. Go ahead and play him. But yeah. I personally, if I was gonna be like, I'm gonna play position three ranked, I would never. Like, I'd almost never pick Night Stalker because yeah, for basically two reasons. The first is that his lane phase is like one of the worst in the game. Yeah. <laughs> and the second is like you're only <laughs> useful every five minutes. So it's like. Right. That's like a big, like you can play around it, of course, but that's kind of a big tax to put on your team because they have yeah. to know, okay, I got to pick a strong four to help my useless Night Stalker. We can only do things at nighttime. Like they have to play around that constantly. So it's, I would just avoid it. Yeah. The good thing with him though is um, once, you, once you're in, you're in. You know what I mean? Yeah. Especially if you're playing against a lot of spell casters and stuff or like just going after like supports that can be tricky to like you know grab yeah. having that that aoe fear is fucking sick yeah i mean he's definitely like sink or swim right like yeah, he's, he's either amazing or he's terrible yeah <laughs> okay. yeah so those good but they were good games and even like you know like i said one game felt way worse um when i had started but i ended up coming back um okay the one with the so yeah. shard right or both, yeah. both of them you had shard but it was uh, yeah yeah okay um let's see let's look over the homework real quick so we did we practiced legion a little bit and we were working on creating opportunities for duels did we think yeah. about comboing items and spells at all um or like how best to do that Sort of. I kind of like. I, I've gotten better about using BKB as far as like, um, you know, like oh, if it's a situation where I know I'm, I'm gonna get CC'd if I jump on somebody in duel, mm -hmm. you know, throw on the BKB and do that. That I definitely got better about. Um, okay. Um, I mean, as far as like Legion, it feels like there's not. You know, you have your set um, combo. Mm. For the most part, you know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. Um, um, how about with identifying targets and stuff like that for duels? Yeah, for sure. I thought about that in the last game that I had played. Um, it was a little bit more difficult for me to, like, figure out um, some of the targets. But, like, you know, Techies was really obvious. Um, Muerta. Yeah. Um, if I, I can anybody here would be good yeah. I, i'd say um i don't know if you, this is the game you want to look at but here i'd be specifically thinking about dawnbreaker yeah because she's the save 
Um, so, okay, that's good you're thinking about it. And then you yeah. said you're more willing to trade to get dual damage, right? Like on the pudge and stuff. So that's good. Yeah, okay. yeah, for sure. All right. Um, which game did you want to look at then? Did you want to look at this last loss or was there, or did you want to do one of the games you won or did you want to do like a live coaching or something? Uh, actually, I'd be down for a live coaching. Okay. Um, you, you mentioned that, I think, last week. Yeah, because I just feel like, I mean, most of these games are either like wins that I felt really good about or mm. losses that felt like, all right, well, yeah, they're kind of like whatever. Yeah, exactly. Okay, for so. sure. Let's let's do a live coaching then. Cool. We won't be able to do ranked. That's fine. All right. We'll do. All right. Good to start whenever you are. Um, how do you want to? How do you want to do this? Do you want me to just like? micromanage or do you want to just like ask questions while you're playing and i'll answer them or should i treat it like a live replay review kind of thing you can micromanage hmm. i think that kind of like um how would it be best uh i don't yeah i i think i'd rather like i for me it's like keeping me straight on the path that I should be on is probably for the best. Like if I'm kind of getting distracted or, you know, yeah. Okay. Cool. I, I won't micromanage like every little thing, but we'll, right, right. we'll think a lot more about like, I guess, big picture stuff. Yeah. Sounds good. Hopefully we can get a, uh... At least a three. Actually, look, because I, you know, I haven't even looked at it, but um, like Legion Commander builds, like what order people take their skills in. Yeah. Victory is assured. Yeah, I thought about that too. Like the last game I played, um, I was in a lane. Who's I? I was against uh Drow, and who was the support? I forget who the support. It was Drow. Oh, Drow and Pudge. Okay. Um, which was kind of like a weird combo, but um, I knew I was gonna be pelted by the Drow, so my idea to combat that was an early bracer and then dumping into my um, life steal. Oh, there you go. And that worked out pretty well. It looks like, by the way. Um, pretty much everybody takes Moment of Courage on level 2. Okay. What do you think for bans? Like, what screws up a, a Legion the most, if you're gonna pick Legion? Um, I usually get rid of Ursa. Okay. I'd also, I'd just, I'd click the lane right away, just to make sure you get it. Oh, pick right away, I don't know about that. <laughs> I was just saying, like, click it there. Are. That's fine, whatever. We'll see if they counter pick you. Do you do that where you click on the mini map? I do, I do, but you know what I don't don't do. I never um like go to the strategy page before I picked. Gotcha. So luckily, it does not seem like they've counter picked me. I'd say um. Just looking at it, Dazzle is your biggest concern. Because you can screw up your duels. That's true. Um, and you're, it's going to be, what? What's the lane going to be? AM and Dazzle or AM and Shadow Shaman? What would you rather have against you? Uh, I think AM and Dazzle because if Dazzle uses Q on me, I can just purge it. Yep, that's exactly what I was thinking. Sweet. Yeah. What the fuck is... 
I'm gonna get banded boots real quick, but take as many laps as you can between the fire waves. How about you just cut waves for him, please? Cut wave and pull. That's a, that's a new one for me. Possible. Um, I'm thinking this is kind of a similar game in that I'm probably gonna get pelted a bunch, so I probably want to get um. This is a weird one because you have Underlord, um, yeah. who's not your traditional support. So if he's doing a good job, you won't won't really need that much regen because they'll be hitting him. And if he's doing a bad job, then this lane sucks. Such is life. So this thinking, the way this guy's thinking about this, is like obviously not good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And like, my job is to damage the carry. It's like, no, your job is to make sure Legion has a game and then damage the carry if you can. Or if so he's right about that, carry. though. Shove wave in, then you can pull. So, what yeah. for items here? What are you thinking to start with? Uh, like my starting items. Yeah. Um, I grabbed two sets of tangos, um, quelling. And then I got a, I don't, I don't know, the, what is that called? I would, Gauntlet. I'd sell a branch and I'd bring a mango to this lane. Okay. Just because you're against an AM, you might need like an emergency spell cast. Gotcha. Um, he didn't grab the ward, so you should buy that and send it right away. Unless, uh, never mind. There's no, there's no wards, there's no wards. Disruptor okay. took it. Okay. Well, this Underlord did start boots, so he could do some creep cutting if he knows how to do that. Yeah. Um, what are you what are you getting from this so far? Like, what's your immediate impression impression of your team? Can you guys hear me? I don't know. I think we can jump on people pretty well. Like, we have a setup with Invoker. Um, Jug ult is a good team fight. And Underlord can set up pretty well. Yeah. Let, let this guy. Okay. That's completely on him. Yeah. Um... So the block is important here, if you can get that. So immediately what I'd be thinking is like, okay, so Invoker, Disruptor, and Underlord might all be unreliable. And Juggernaut too. <laughs> I thought I'd be really judgmental. <laughs> Maybe don't, don't worry about that. If it looks normal to you, that's fine. You should also think here, because you're against an AM, you won't actually get to cast a lot of spells. So I wouldn't yeah. be planning on, like, a Q build. Yeah. Uh, w would be helpful, though. So I think you're just doing, like, W-E. Uh, and... Your goal should be to save W specifically to get rid of um, yeah. Dazzle's uh, Poison Touch. <sighs> Nothing to do here, so just, just wait yeah. for the creeps to come back. This guy needed to pull this wave for you. If he doesn't pull this next one, I would just pull it myself. You can aggro the creeps out of the tower, though. Aggro them to a ranged. Don't worry about the stuff on the side, just get creeps. It's well, you're there now, so just just pull. No, help me, help me, help me. No, ignore him, just pull. Take the feet. Yeah, just ignore him. This is more important. Can you guys hear me? My mic, my mic. Yeah, we can hear you. Back to the ranged over here. Just, just connect it. 
connect it? Yeah, just connect it. You just it, the main oh, issue is you just want the the lane here, right? Uh huh. Like, it's fine if it's here and this is contested. It's just you don't want to be next to the tower. That's all. Uh huh. Yo, you're giving him the creeps. What are you doing? Just mute this fucking dude. I'm actually gonna mute him. I'm getting annoyed with him. <laughs> just mute him. Gotcha. Hey, Underlord, go make sure the Dazzle doesn't stack, please. Oh, this is toxic as shit. Okay, so <laughs> in this situation, you have to think like this guy is going to actually like sabotage your game. So yeah. you might need to go a little bit more like farmy based. So this might be like this might be an example of like a soul ring game where you're going to need to recover because this guy's not giving you the lane that you need. Like he's not stopping this dazzle from pulling, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Just keep aggroing out. Yes. Immediately. So AM just blinked away, so he's probably going to the uh, side shop. So what I would do here is actually shove this into the tower and, and make him lose creeps. Yeah, to deny the creeps, yeah. Yeah, because he's, he's being greedy going for a ring of hell. Don't worry about this. Don't worry about this. On it. Yeah, if AM's missing creeps, we don't give a shit. It's fine. There you go. He missed, like, almost a whole wave off that. And don't use your W on this Underlord, like, ever. That's true. Like, that's for you. Okay. Um, let's try and get the 45 pull off. 45, gotcha. Yeah, I wouldn't buy the wand, sell that. Who should I buy? Boots? Um... I'll be just boots, or just yeah. Just Yeah, move, move for the pull now. See if you can get it. I think you can if you, you're gonna have to drag it like this, though. Oh no, you're good, you're good. You can go straight. Yeah, I think just boots and then you're going like straight for... Either soul ring or blade mill. It's, you're not getting booted out of lane. So, yeah. Sol Ring's not like an immediate thing. And then you could just static these like right here. Don't let these go under tower. I think Dazzle's doing a pull, but don't worry about it. Okay, dude. Oh, that's annoying. Yeah, Dazzle pulled so you can go straight to the camp. Because their catapult didn't show up. And I think you're good on W for now. Just keep maxing E. Like, you farm this stuff. Farm this stuff. Farm this? Right. Yeah, there's no creeps, right? They just got pulled. But if you have your E and your W, you're like, you don't have to be scared of this Dazzle at all. You can just... Kill it. All right, now drag him over here. I also wouldn't go phase boots. I would go treads no. instead. Um, partly because you need to farm, and also partly because attack speed is extra useful on Legion, because you're going to get dual damage. So you don't actually need to build a lot of damage, right? Oh my god. Yeah, uh, I mean, you're just, you're gonna have to transition to like jungling soon. Yeah. Just get as much as you can here. So I just start going treads, actually. There you go. Let me run a dazzle now. If you can kill this, you might be able to stack it. Yes. 
I care for Dazzle now. If Dazzle's gonna go on you. Or should have. He should have gone on you there. I guess he didn't want to. So from here, I'd just be thinking about the item that's gonna propel you the most. It could be a Falcon Blade. I saw you build that in one of your games too, but... Yeah. I think just maybe straight blade mail is fine. I can hear this guy through your mic. <laughs> you should dango soon. spell so I don't know if I want Falcon Blade or not. I don't think you need it. No. Yeah. It's fine. I might just go straight um I think blade mail's fine. Blade straight mail, blade yeah. Mail. Farming blade mail. Okay. Um Okay, he did a pull. Never mind. trade this i don't think i do when you do your w though on yourself if you need to try and go to intrads first yeah true <laughs> you gotta be careful because he's getting close to six uh, uh oh strength threats strength threats Oh, hit him back, hit him back. Yeah, once he gets under tower, you just turn and hit him. Yeah, that's true. That's okay, though. Um, yeah, get your blade mail stuff. And then you kind of need to keep coming back here. Just what you'll do now is like, uh, just try and hit the jungle as much as you can and then pop back in. Okay, Underlord went top to farm there. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, this is gonna pull over here, so you gotta just like kind of snipe that. You could just freeze this outside tower too. You got three points, moment of courage. Disruptor might need your help. Uh, You could throw a W on him. Oh, Papa's back. Oh boy. I'd also be on strength treads for most of this. Are you thinking agi treads just so you can regen or what? Uh, I thought for attack speed. Maybe I'm, am I wrong on that? Hmm. Is that not really? I think the damage is is better right okay. now. Like unless you're spell casting or regening. At least he's uh. Yeah, no, this, this is good. 
Should I just shove lane at this point? Well, you don't have an option. Like, it's it's yeah. auto-shoving. Okay. Now I go to the just jungle. Just, just go jungle. Just farm their shit. You have to be careful of AM connecting here. Yep. Because that's going to happen. You're good. Just let it shove under. You're good. Intreds, W. Oh, fuck. Alright, it's alright. Maybe I should have. Once uh, dis I would save it because Disruptor's gonna hit six soon. Yeah. I was thinking that too. But if you duel with Disruptor, it's not bad. Yeah. And you don't need to be worried about his spell reflect because it just makes him duel you instead. Yeah. Attack! Should I shove this lane to get it back to ours? I mean, well, it's I kind of a. Um, you're just doing it because it's giving you, like, you have the opportunity to do it. So the faster you can shove this, the more you can move on and, like, go jungle, you know? Sure. Like, now you can go hit the hard camp or whatever. Oh, save your disruptor. Oh, too late. All right, we're, we're back. We're back. The primal's here. Just go triangle now. Yeah. We're scared of primal beast. <laughs> And you can use blade mail to farm and stuff. Okay. That's true. It's 23 mana. That's pretty efficient. Yeah. Um, you could just go ancients. Let just let ancients. him have that anyway. It's fine. Okay. And because you're not under pressure from AM, like you can use your W to farm. They might need to go top to help with this tower. Um, yeah. I think TPing into the trees isn't bad. Ah, uh, it's too. Uh, all right, sorry. You're already there. Just, just wait. Don't show immediately. A little too early. All right, we're done. We're done. We're done. It's fine. Just go back to farming. You need blink. Oh, gee, they're still going. Okay, fuck it. Easy duel. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So, Jug's gonna farm this area, so I'd just be walking to mid now. Yeah. Get in your TP scroll. Or actually just run straight to bottom, because AM's pressuring with the catapult. Yes. Might have to use Glyph. Okay, you got it. So just do triangle then. Bring it on. Are you on uh, speakers right now? Uh, no. It's a, my headphones. That's so crazy that it transmits yeah, that. Yeah, they're very fucking old. <laughs> I'm uh, definitely uh, in the market for some new ones. They're better neutrals. Oh, there's a broom handle. You should take that. Probably need to defend mid next because there's catapult there. Gotcha. It's like the general thinking is we're reacting where we have to, but otherwise we're trying to be greedy and just farming our blink. Yeah. Oh, good deal. Good deal. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Right, back to farming. 
probably get some clarities. Yeah, what? sounds good. Am's got Battle Fury, but Brown Boots. See, I think normally in a game, I would be trying to look for every dual opportunity. It's kind of like, yeah. you just you just need the blink, right? Yeah. The faster you get it, the better, and the more active you can get. For sure. Um, I would just run here. Just run here. Because yeah. you don't really want to show, because you're close to the blink. Let Underlord do that. Yeah, you got a glyph. Glyph. Yep. There's three mid. I don't know if you want to show up. Yeah, just go triangle. It's that thing's dead. Is that a you? Oh shit. Okay, so that's warded. Are you blink, 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 blink. Oh. Fight. Yeah. Nice. Nice. <laughs> we'll call that a win. Always gotta have that quick fight, man. <laughs> yeah. Um, Q a BKB up next. A lot of magic damage. KB. And a lot of stuns. Okay, so uh we can start playing the game now. So now I would start showing up and looking for duels. Gotcha. If it's like clear that you're actually gonna get a duel there. You guys have Disruptor ult? Like you could look for one middle. I would blink or I'd TP into the bottom here. Try and pick this like Shadow Shaman. There you go. Alright, and then clear this up. <clears throat> um, yeah, clear those wards and then I'd be concerned about bottom next because AM's got too much space here. Disruptor still has ult, so you can go, you can look for a duel on this AM with his ult. I would like communicate that to so, like ping ping his ultimate, ping your ultimate, you know, all that stuff. Yeah. Do it, do it, do it. There we nice. go. There we go. Thank God. All right, we got there. It was it was <laughs> weird, but we did it. <laughs> and then we shoved this tower pretty hard. Um. Hope Jug goes middle. Let's see. I just pressure this tower. You should be safe to just hit the tower. A clear wave and then do it. Okay, next goal should be maybe a couple of clarities and you want to get vision in here with your team to look for duels. Yes. I just chill here for a minute, just wait. Okay, Primal showed up. So you got to be careful here because there could be more, you don't see anybody. Down. There's a Shadow Shaman. You kind of can't duel when those two are together. Yeah. Because either one can lock you down. So unless you have like a disruptor ult to back it up, like you guys could, if your team had a smoke, like this would be a great time to just smoke into them. But they're not, so stack this in farm. Oh, he's still there. Oh no, we lost him. 
You good? Can you hear me? Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, there they paused for you. What happened? <laughs> okay. I don't know what happened there. Can you still hear me now? Yeah, I, I can hear you just fine. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, just farm the triangle and then um Farm the triangle, sell your branches after, and buy a smoke. That is a half health dazzle walking around. So if he walks up here to get a ward, you should kill him. Check the secret shop. Nah, no, he's already out. He's out. You said buy a smoke? Yeah, your team really needs smokes here. So you can just buy some. Oh, uh, shove middle here. Nighttime is kind of awkward for you because of Luna's night vision. So we don't really want to be looking to smoke into her specifically. Looks like there's a fight going on though. You might need to show up to this. Look for Dazzle. It's always Dazzle first if you can get him. Nice. And then Shaman, yeah. You are the backline murderer. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I think you still get him. Never mind. Oh, no. Oh, no. Honestly, <laughs> that's fine. You forced two ults. Yeah. That's fine. Give me one second. I'm going to run real quick. Okay. I would, uh, when you're up, I would TP into the tree's top. Gotcha. Still? Uh, no, nah, just walk middle. Gotcha. But I would actually, I'd walk to Invoker. I'd just walk to Invoker here. Try and duel the uh, Dazzle again. Oh. No. Alright, good shaman then, fuck it. Ah, damn. At least he dies. Yeah, he died. Yeah. Okay, so we know that Dazzle will get a grave off if you don't duel him. <laughs> yeah, so we tested that theory. Alright, let me see. Primal is going for heart, I think. Are there any wards available? Are any better items for you? There's a dagger. I'd take the dagger. Or the yeah. Ring of Aquila, if no one's taking it. I don't know where it is. If you could remember to hit the dagger first, that is pretty good for you. Um, I'd group with your team here, group with your disruptor. Okay. And I'd scan Roche. Okay. Absolutely. So if you know there's no vision here, you can um, start thinking about a smoke somewhere. So they're likely to show up in middle, so just chill for a minute. There's AM. Okay, so you could smoke with these guys to go kill AM. And ping the shit out of it and let him know you want to duel. You'll check the rune, right? Oh! Dazzle is here! Okay, that sucks. Yeah. That's alright, we're good, we're out. Yeah, we're just, we're full out, we're full out. AM got a fucking haste. Down. 
I didn't know he fucking Naruto runs if he gets a haste. Yeah, isn't it great? I'd just be running to bottom here because you're you're done yeah. in this area. That's a bad call on my part. It's kind of a hasty duel there. Oh no. Disruptor's mad at me. Don't forget your clarity. Buy your BKB stuff. If they're smart, they'll go rush. They're not smart. They didn't go rush. Okay, you're good. You could be using your dagger here just to farm a little faster. Okay. Because your natural regen is like enough. Mm -hmm. And you're just trying to uh, like farm as fast as possible. So I would like hit that and then I'd hit this and then I'd back up and then hit this and then. True. Uh, be ready to TP to middle here and TP like bottom trees. You're looking for Dazzle. Wait for Dazzle. Wait for Dazzle. Oh, they're, they separated. They separated. Run to the Luna. Yeah, the, everybody else is up here. You can't get AM, so just run up there. Yeah. Like they're on vision. You can you can pick this dazzle here. Hey, it worked out. Oh, there we go. Now, now, now it's super worked. <laughs> yep. Nice. Good shit. Okay, so heal up, and then you want your team to go rush here. So grab, grab this, and then get ready. Tell them to go rush. Okay, invoker TP out. Does that matter? Can we rush without a? If Jug wants to use his healing ward, you guys could rush here. The enemy's middle tower has fallen forward. On it. Loser, loser. Immediately. Yeah, I think you can just do it. Use your healing ward, Jug. Primal Disulted an Illusion, sweet. They're right there though, should we back off? Uh, I think you try and finish it here, there's no Primal. As long as these guys stay near you, you're fine. Alright, blink out, blink out. No blink. Look for the Dazzle again. Oh! I should have BKB'd first. That's okay. I didn't know you had it. Yeah, I I did just gotten it. Oh, uh, okay. So. Oh no, DD Primal. Honestly, this is not going as badly as it could have. So now I'm like, I'm being like, oh, you got to dual dazzle, you got to do dazzle. But like, you still got to wait for like the the right timing of it, you know? Yeah, for sure. Like your team has to be able to follow up, like glyph this for sure. And wait for Jug. I, I just give them this Rax here. I don't think it's... Oh no, we're going. Alright, fuck it. Nice. I felt it. <laughs> yeah, appreciate it. Clear those uh, serpent warts. Yeah. Okay, they didn't rush. Go back to rush. Like, TP up to AM and then and go rush.
Yeah, help to help out your invoker. Okay, we're good. Rush. Go rush, guys. Go rush. You could just take it. Like either Invoker or you should have it. <laughs> I'd say Invoker maybe if he shows up. Alright, cool. Get the time. Shit. Seven, four. I got it. Don't worry. Thank you. Um, so here we'd be looking to clear up waves, get another smoke going. Uh, thinking about next item, what are you, what are you feeling? Uh, clear up bot wave here. Um. What would be the next item? Maybe assault Kiras. Thinking Assault Curious or like... Oh man, um, if you could get to it, Bloodthorn would be legit. Yeah. Maybe you just start working towards that. Gotcha. Yeah, just go Mage Slayer next. Uh oh. Bad time to go AFK, huh? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Not the place to go AFK, my guy. <laughs> My fucking my roommate's kid needed something. Chill. He was fucking knocking down the door. Well, such is life. Yeah, just make sure you uh, blink in the trees first next time. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> they did spend Luna ult on you though. Definitely show up to this fight. Yeah. Our movies has to walk. They they didn't even realize that it was a, strate a strategical AFK. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. setting them up. Yeah. Move through the triangle so the surfer warns don't cancel your blink. And still looking for dazzle if possible. Yeah, do it, do it, do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it's good. All right, clear those different wards now. That's the thing, like, once your duel's done, like, unless someone's, like, right next to you, you're kind of, like, out of things to do, right? Yeah. So next, you guys want to control this area. So you want to get in this and this push, and you want to get vision in here. This friggin' troll underlord is higher level than you, man. That's so frustrating. <laughs> you do have to be careful, though. It's just the two of you, and they're, yeah. like, all up here. So just move with Disruptor and help him get wards down. Otherwise, just smack jungle creeps. Yes. There are no jungle creeps. Don't stand in it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Guy. <laughs> oh no. Alright, you gotta leave now. Jug's not here. That might be an illusion. Yeah, wait for that. Yeah. Oh, there's DD in the river. Yeah, go go to the river. There's DD bottom, guys. DD bottom. Oh, he's got blink. He's got blink. Oh no. Uh oh. Well. Wow.
you have a mage slayer yet? Closer are you? Let's see. I just need the sage's mask. Oh, okay. I bought that in a uh, weird order. I am doing on his items. Dude, he still didn't get treads. What are these freaks that just go fucking brown boots all game? <laughs> what is this fucking League of Legends crap? <laughs> so you know those two are top. Um you can't just like walk up there. Okay, they have no primal. Never mind, you can walk up there. Gotcha. The problem is this underlord is not being a support fuck. at all. Uh oh. Oh, nice. Remember Dazzle. Where's Dazzle? Oh, oh, nice. What the fuck? <laughs> Could hear that in the background. <laughs> <laughs> what, did, what did he say? That was a fool. <laughs> that was perfect. Yeah, this game is goofy. This is a very goofy game. Your Underlord just creeped like so fucking hard this game, dude. Yeah. That's, a, that's the hard part. Yeah. That happens. Your bottom tower is under attack. Probably trash this calling blade in the bracer now. Yeah. Unless you want to just actually the the bracer's ten strength. You should just be running around with that. Easy two hundred health. Yeah. Oh disruptor, don't do it! Don't do it! You're gonna die! Nice. Very nice. Good job. All right, clear up these. Clear up this shit. You guys need to get this back. Right, get this back, and then um, Roche is up soon. You don't need to smoke, he already walked up there. Did Underlord walk really walk back in? Yeah, he just walked up. You can walk there. Get that dazzle. Oh, I didn't have dual. It's okay. Making space, I guess. Oh, not anymore. Uh. Oh. Doug is dying to Shadow Shaman solo. You can do a juggernaut. Uh, go. You got duel again. If this dazzle steps up, you can kill him. Nice, dude. Uh, you guys need to disengage from this fight now because you got mid catapults and AM's gonna TP into this fight. Just go worry about the mid catapults. Okay, he's got those. Um. Okay, you guys need to get this out, folks. 
and I'd send yourself some clarities, and then I'd send the courier to the secret shop. Need that void stone. Is that going to be too many active items? No. Okay. I worry about that sometimes. Like, I'll, I'll do a different build because I'm like, I don't have enough fingers. <laughs> Primal's bottom, so I would check Roche after this wave. spawn bottom oh it's up okay so you need to get this ready so you need, this needs to be pushed don't be scared to blink around just to move around faster yeah and i actually wouldn't finish out your orchid because you need to save her yeah, buyback here buyback. You also are going to need a slot ready, so you're going to need to get rid of some of these items. Careful walking out here by yourself. You should be playing top right now. Um, but send your courier out and like just put your bracer on it, because you need a slot to pick up Aegis in case uh, that happens. Yeah. Always dazzle first if you have the option. And BKB before you go in. Where is he? Uh oh. Oh, oh okay, we're gonna be buying back. Smoke yourself before you walk out. You might just need to wait. You guys might just be playing against Megas now. Uh, check your carrier. I see a dazzle. Nice. Oh. Yeah, hopefully Jug can clutch it. Go, Jug, go! Use your goddamn Yolner. Or don't. Okay, GG. <laughs> yeah, dude. What a troll well, I, game. Yeah. I do feel like I picked up on a lot of things, though. Okay. I think, like, a lot of, like, um, like, in, in trying to tackle some of these bigger concepts, I've lost, um, like, some of just, like, the basic, like, efficiency of, like, okay, clear the wave, get to the camp, you know. Right. right. Shit like that. I'm thinking too much about, okay, I need to get push this out and look for a kill and stuff like that, you know, and those little things all add up majorly over a game. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah. So what what did we do well and what could we have done better in that game? Because I think I think the main issue, like we'll ignore the Underlord griefing the shit out of us. The main issue is that yeah. we needed to get the Dazzle, but some in some cases we're a little too hasty on it. Yeah. Um, I think that's pretty much it in terms of like the orc yeah. play. What do you think? Yeah, I think so. I think it was like, you know, um. Oh, wait. You have to call? No, I'm not. I need a charger. Okay, I got you. Yeah. Five minutes. Can I charge it up? Can I play on Sony and Jupiter? Just five minutes. I got you guys. Five minutes. Just give me five minutes. <laughs> Let me, I'll, we'll talk about that in five minutes. <laughs> um, yeah, it was like, uh, I think we did good at nailing him down. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, stuff like that. I think, um, there was just like a couple bad picks. Um, I probably at that point. Like should have just not even gone for it without BKB because once we got BKB it was easy. Yeah, there, it was a guaranteed you know grab every time. Um, there was well, there was one instance where you just didn't BKB first, 
But yeah. other than that, I don't think you actually had the choice. So like, yeah, yeah, I don't think it's that bad. Yeah, there's just like a few, just a few instances of it being like a little sloppy. Yeah, mainly and the Roche it's... fight. I think that was the one. Yeah, that one was just a little too early. Yeah. Um, other than that, I mean, you got 292 dual damage. You get the most kills. You killed Dazzle six times. Yeah. Um, how did the lane phase feel with that skill build? Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah, lane phase was, was fine. Uh, you know, dude was whatever, but at the very least, I, I think I squeezed out as much of that as I could get out of it. Yeah, definitely. Did yeah. Invoker not take... Whoa, crazy. Invoker didn't take any talents. He just... He just didn't. Did he just do stats? <laughs> he just took like all uh, of his like Quaswex exhort. Look at that. Oh, okay. Not even stats, just Nice. I want more Quaswex. <laughs> nice. God, this this bracket's so strange. But yeah. um do you see what I mean about like how these guys like like they immediately felt unreliable to me? Yeah, for sure. Like Underlord's concept of like Underlord 4 and I'm going to harass with Q and I need to do damage to AM. And then Disruptor took the ward for top. So you guys didn't have a ward bottom. And then Invoker died for a sentry ward in mid. And then yeah. Jug tried to go for the rune anyway. Like all of that stuff is like informing like how I'm actually going to play the rest of the game. Yeah. Which maybe is a little bit judgmental, but it's like, I feel like it's reasonable, you know? Like, if you know you're in a lower bracket, being like, okay, these guys are a little wonk, you know? So I can't expect, like, perfect play out of them all the time. Um, but yeah, okay. Was that, uh, was that helpful then? Yeah. I, I, you know, still, like, just like the stuff of, like, you know, go here, don't go there, like... Those are things I don't think of, or like I take like a moment after something where it's like, okay, this happened, and I just stand there. And it's like, all right, we well, need to get to the next thing. Mm, okay. Stuff like uh, stuff like that um, is helpful because it makes me, you know, it's just playing the game faster. Right. You know. Okay, so we can put that in yeah. so playing faster. Um, we'll say mostly mostly good execution. On duels. One second. Is there anything else there that we noticed? Pretty much it, right? Hey, what's up, Michael? How's it going, man? We're doing a live coaching session. Dude, is AFK for a minute. How'd your weekend go? <laughs> I need more tea. Okay, sorry about that. For sure, you're good. Okay, so our takeaways are life coaching was helpful for map movements, keeping up tempo, staying active, playing faster. Um, mostly good execution on duels, a couple of clubs, and we still need to work on item usage and farming efficiency. Yeah, for sure. That sound fine. What do you think yeah. for homework? Would it be same as last week, or is there something specific you feel like you need to work on? Probably playing faster. Um... Yeah, maybe maybe refining what we did before. So like, you know, what's our target and how do we get them? Okay. Yeah. What's our target and how do we get them? <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Nice. All right, dude. Well, I hope that awesome. was good. Hell Sounds like yeah. you got to well, get going. Yeah, I'm being called a fool, so. I gotta go address that. <laughs> that was so well timed. Like he killed the death and he's like, "What's up, fool?" <laughs> it was so good. Oh shit! 
All right, man. All well, right. Well, I appreciate you, dude. Okay. You have a good one. I'll catch you next you week. Too. All right. Peace. Peace. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check the playlist at the end. Like and subscribe. Comment down below. All that stuff. And I will see you in the next video.